Hello Lucky Stars! And to all who can see this video, have a blessed day. If you are new in my channel, please subscribe and enjoy learning with me. In this video, you will learn the divisibility rule for 7. Now, let's proceed to the divisibility rule of 7. When the last digit of a number is doubled and subtracted from the remaining number, and the result is a multiple of 7 or 0, the number is divisible by 7. Examples. Okay, first example is 91. Ayan. The last digit is 1. According to the rule, we double the last digit. So, if we double 1, it will become 2. And then, we will subtract it from the remaining number, which is 9. 9 minus 2 equals 7. The answer is 7, which is a multiple of 7, of course. So, 91 can be divided exactly by 7. Another example, 126. The last digit is 6. If we double 6, it will become 12. And then, we will subtract it from the remaining number, which is 12, minus 12. So, it is double, double, okay? So, 126, the last digit is 6. We will double this. It will become 12. So, we will subtract this from the remaining number, which is 12. 12 minus 12, the answer is 0. Therefore, this number is divisible by 7. Another example, 602. The last digit is 2. If we double 2, it will become 4. And we will subtract this from the remaining number, which is 60. 60 minus 4, the answer is 56. 56. 56 is a multiple of 7. Because when we multiply 7 by 8, the product is 56. Since it is divisible by 7, automatic this number 602 is divisible by 7. Next example, 1750. 1750, it ends with 0. Okay, if we double 0, still it is 0. And if we subtract 0 from 175, still the answer is 175. So if you are not sure if 175 is a multiple of 7, you can repeat again the rule. So 175, like this. 175 minus 0 equals 175. So if you are not sure, whether it is divisible by 7 because it is higher number for you, again, repeat the rule. Double this number. If we double 5, it will become 10. And the remaining number is 17. So we will say 17 minus, okay, 10. We double 5, the answer is 10. And then the answer is 7. 17 minus 10 equals 7. It is a multiple of 7, so therefore, 1,750 is divisible by 7. For larger number, there is a faster way to determine whether a number is divisible by 7. That is, by grouping the numbers by block of 3 from right to left. And then, Alternately, subtracting and adding the numbers in the blocks. Example, 
Okay, this number. 624,988. We will determine whether it is divisible by 7 or not. We can use this procedure, but it is a little bit uh, slow since you will repeat again and again and again. The fastest way is to group this in blocks of 3 from right to left. Right to left. So group of 3. So this is the first group, 988. The second group is 624. Second group, 624. And the next rule is, after grouping, alternately subtracting and adding the numbers in block. We will subtract the second group from the first group. And if there is another group here, we will add. So since there are two groups, we will just use subtraction. Okay, 988 minus 624 equals, what is the answer? 8 minus 4, of course, 4. 8 minus 2, the answer is 6. 9 minus 6, the answer is 3. The answer is 364. Now, if it is still higher number for you to determine if it is divisible by 7, you can repeat the rule here, the first rule. So, we will, we will use the first rule. That is to double the last digit. So, double the last digit, it will become 8. And then subtract from the remaining number, which is 36. 36 minus 8. The answer is 28. 28 is a multiple of 7. 7 times 4 equals 28. So, that means that this number, 624,988, is divisible by 7. So, in this way, we can get the answer uh, faster. That is, by grouping the numbers. For larger numbers. So, for larger numbers, you can use this. Another example. Okay, this one. 1 million two hundred seventy-seven thousand seven hundred thirty-eight. It is a larger number. And so, if we use the first rule, it is very slow. So, we will uh, use the second rule first. By group. Let's group this from right to left. Right to left. Group of three. So, this is the first group. 738. The second group is 277. And the third group is 1. This is it. Ayan. Alternately, subtracting and adding the numbers in block. Okay. So, we will subtract first and then add the third group. What? Subtract. 738 minus 277. 8 minus 7 is 1. 3 minus 7 cannot be. We will borrow from here. It will become 13. 13 minus 7 is 6. 7 becomes 6. And 6 minus 2, the answer is 4. And then we will add the last group, which is 1. So 461 plus 1, the answer is 462, of course. 462. Now, if you cannot tell whether it, this number is divisible by 7, we will use the first rule, which is to double this one. Double. Double 2, it will become 4. And subtract it from the remaining number, which is 46. Ayan. 46 minus... 46 minus 4, the answer is 42. Okay, 42. The answer is 42. 42 is a multiple of 7.
Therefore, 1,277,738 is divisible by 7. So that is the rule for 7. You must remember the first rule, simply double the last digit and subtract it from the remaining numbers. But for a larger number, you can use grouping first before doing the first rule so that you can get the answer quickly. Thank you so much for watching. If you are not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and click the notification bell for you to be updated of the next video that I am going to upload. I hope you enjoy learning with me. Thanks again. See you next time. God bless.